Well, Donald Trump is not letting much. up on this. Uh, up next, more moments from the debate and those sniffles heard around the world. Companies are doing this. We cannot let it happen. Undermine what was going on with Donald Trump? Well, most people assumed he had a cold or allergies. Mr. Trump has a different explanation, but sometimes pictures speak louder than words. A body language expert weighs in on this and how both candidates did in the eyes of viewers next. If you were one of the more than 80 million people watching last night's debate, you probably noticed something about Donald Trump. Is that okay? Good. I want you to be very happy. It's very important to me. But in all fairness to Secretary Clinton, the NAFTA agreement is defective. Talking about that later. We cannot let it happen. By Mayor Bloomberg, it's our country's in deep trouble. What they're doing to us is a very, very sad thing. And Lester, they're taking our jobs. Let me give you the example of Mexico. They have a VAT tax. Mr. Trump's sniffling became a viral sensation, but the reason behind it is still up for debate. People on social media speculated he was suffering from anything from allergies to a cold to something else. This morning on Fox and Friends, the Republican nominee denied he was even sniffling at all. No, no sniffles, no. You know, the mic was very bad, uh, but maybe it was good enough to hear breathing. But there was no sniffles. Uh, I don't have, so you don't I have, have a no cold? Allergy. No, no okay. cold. Okay. Every once in a while, but no, uh, no cold. A body language expert and physician, Dr. Jack Brown, joins us now. Uh, first of all, what do you make of the, what appeared to be sniffling? Most likely it's due to anxiety. Um, people um, will sniff like that when they have a high level of anxiety. Although sometimes you will see a deep sniff uh, intake, uh, a deep uh, respiration like that when people are in the middle of contempt like this, mm -hmm. or when they, tell, when they tell a deception. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes you'll see that. Uh, but he did it at least 40 times deeply, I counted, uh, and a bunch of other times uh, less deeply. It, it was the first time that Clinton and Trump had interacted in person as candidates. I think a lot of people were wondering how that would go. I want to take a look at how they each greeted each other off the top, and, and let's talk about what you think their body language said. So what do you make of this? If I was uh, counseling uh, Mrs. Clinton, I would tell her she should have turned a little more towards Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump shook hands like he often does. He pulls the other person in towards his torso. And uh, so I would say he could have done that for intimidation purposes, but that's his normal MO. He also patted her on the back, and I would have recommended against that. And by, her, by him going in her personal space like that, that uh, was a lot off-putting to a lot of people. You know, it, it seemed almost immediately Donald Trump was drinking a, a lot of water, which is something he had kind of made fun of Marco Rubio for in, in the past. And he continued to do it throughout the debate. And I don't think Secretary Clinton that I saw drank any water at all. I agree. I counted 11 for Mr. Trump and Secretary Clinton zero, which, uh, you know, it's a normal physiologic response when you get nervous that your throat gets dry. So the fact that she didn't need it uh, means that she was very much in her game. Uh, I want to look at, at Hillary Clinton when the, the issue that, that's really dogged her this entire debate uh, or, or campaign came up, uh, the, her emails. What stood out to you about, about her body language during her answer? I think that was when she got most nervous. She displayed most anxiety. Uh, she, bl her rate of blinking went way up. And uh, when you are anxious, when you're nervous, your uh, blink rate, your blink rate uh, goes way up. And hers did. And she had ex more extended blinking, too, so it, for longer duration. Her, her, she also tilted her head back. So that was the, um, those were signals that she was getting most anxious about that section of the debate uh, more than any other. When Donald Trump's taxes was brought up, what did his body language tell you then? He had a uh, definite, his mouth went into a fear expression, and that was one part a, that really bothered him. A fear expression, huh? His, his, his uh, corners of mouth went back and down. He also rocked back and forth uh, on his uh, feet uh, laterally uh, several times pretty quick. Uh, so, and it, if, if you watch it, I, uh, uh, it was, it's quite noticeable, and that, that really got to him, that section. Also, as far as how the, the two candidates were standing during the debate, what stood out to you? Mrs. Clinton, um, she stood with her shoulders square most of the time. Uh, Donald Trump, if you notice, he uh, bent down to that microphone a lot, and uh, which he shouldn't do. That microphone's good enough to pick him up for there, of course. He also was tilting forward at his waist even when he wasn't bending down. His torso was also turned towards uh, her. So all these things make him look like he's subordinating himself to her alpha. He's, he's looking like a beta to her alpha. He shouldn't have done any of that. 
Um, so that's, uh, she, she stood though with her shoulders square and when she looked over him, it was just her head turning, not her whole torso. That, that, and by doing that, she maintains her alpha status. How would you grade both of them? I would give Donald Trump a uh, C and I'd say uh, Secretary Clinton A minus. You're not talking this content, you're just talking body language. You get him, uh, him Just with the nonverbal, yeah, right. just, just with the nonverbal, nothing, nothing else, yeah. Uh, it's so fascinating to, uh, to look at this body language stuff. Uh, Jack Brown, thank you so much, appreciate it. Thank you, Anderson. Well, still ahead in our next hour, Hillary Clinton.